Hello coffee lovers, Damien here from Departure, your headquarters here in the famous Roselands. I'm here with another great product from Beletsa, introducing the Julia, which is uh, translated in English to youthful. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a brief look at the machine. We're gonna see its functions and benefits, and um, let's get cracking. The Beletsa brand in Heidelberg, Germany, um, you know, German quality control, German warehousing equipment, German parts, and all the materials, everything engineered, design, everything comes from that, that Heidelberg office in Germany. Um, and like major brands around the world, they just have an assembly plant in uh, China, which makes them a more affordable product. If you're familiar with the Chiara model, basically the Julia is a Chiara on steroids. So basically we've got the footprint of the Chiara, which is a very famous uh, Beletsa model. It's got a couple more features. So we've got the hot water, We've got the lovely feet here that I love. They look outstanding. That's probably the key feature for me. Big and chunky feet. So we're looking at about 30 centimeters by about 40 centimeters and 40 centimeters deep. Probably the major feature is that it can be plumbed. So it has a feature to be plumbed or use the tank. And also we've got the two big manometers now. So we've got the one for uh, brew and the one for steam pressure, which is uh, you know visually very pleasing. So what we have here, before I start, um, you know, is a heat exchange machine. So what is a heat exchange machine and what's the benefit of that? So with a heat exchange machine, you've got a designated brew chamber. So what that means is you can basically brew, steam, and do everything at the same time. With a single boiler, it's one extraction, say, or brew, and then you're flicking over, Boiler's coming back to steam pressure and you can start steaming. There's about two minute downtime with that. So with a dual boiler, you have, with a PID obviously, you can have a, you know, the ability to ramp up the steam pressure and control the brew temperature as well. With a heat exchange, you're basically using the temperature of the steam and balancing the brew temperature as well. And sometimes if you put that steam pressure too high, you will get a splattering effect. It's a lot more steam than water. So it's a formula of the, getting the steam pressure right and not, the brew temperature not too hot. So for me, an important part and benefit of this machine is having a PID. So a PID is a proportional integral derivative. So basically it allows you to control temperature. Um, you know, it, it, it uses a function to control pre-infusion. Pre um, it acts as a shot timer. So it's communicating with the mechanics of the machine with a display so you can understand how the machine's working and control that better. When you control a PID and set the temperature, it's sending a command to make sure you're getting the steam right and then you're getting a good temperature at brew as well. Let's have a look at the functions of the PID and what you can do. So we've got steam temperature here, so that can be adjusted, obviously. I've got it at 124. Um, press the set button, pre-infusion. So what is pre-infusion and what's the benefit of that? Pre-infusion kicks in, sprinkles the bed of ground coffee with water stops after four seconds, starts again, and then basically you're not getting any channeling, you're getting a full speckle of water on that ground coffee to ensure a better flavor profile and a full flavor profile. So pre-infusion I got set to four seconds. So I'm just gonna show you what that means. So if you, can you get in tight here, deck? I'm just gonna let this, um, let this go and I'm gonna let the water go. All right, so I'm gonna set that back to the main screen, which is showing the temperature of the steam. I'm gonna let that go. Four seconds, and then it kicks in again. So it sprinkles water at half the pressure, so half the bar, at about four bars. Full pressure coming straight through the coffee uh, bed. You're getting, you know, half, half the pressure, even wetness of the ground coffee bed, and then the full whack of the nine bar, 10 bar. Pre-infusion. Then the next function is the temperature of the steam, which also affects the brew. Then we've got eco. So eco five means, so eco basically means this machine goes into sleep. So eco one 
approximately 30 minutes, the machine goes into sleep, you know, and it, and, it, and it takes about three or four minutes to get back up to temperature. So this machine takes about 10 minutes to heat up initially. Um, Eco 2, and it goes into sleep after about an hour. Eco 3 goes into sleep an hour and a half. Eco 4 goes into sleep three hours. And then Eco 5, the function is off. Now we've got FO. So FO means that we are using the tank. So FO means we're using the tank. And if you get it, I'm just gonna twist the machine around to the side. And we also have this function here where we can change it from tank to water mains. So we've got the OLAB pump in here, which means it can be plumbed. Okay, so FO means tank, and then you basically go to F1, and we go to the water main. So that's just a sensor to bypass the tank, so we can use that function, okay? And then we've got the main screen, which is showing the temperature. And again, acts as a shot timer when I engage the lever, okay? I love these big manometers here, great flick levers. Um, you know, and we've also got the cool touch steam ones. So these anti-burn rubbers are not needed. They can come off for aesthetics, but as you can see, anti-burn. So again, they can be removed. So what we've got here is a two liter tank, um, you know, and it can also be, have a filter inserted so that, uh, you know, it's a very, very good size tank. Very good size tank. Two liter stainless steel boiler. Basically, this machine is just, you know, unbelievable value for money. So we're looking at about three and a half thousand dollars. So we're paying about a thousand dollars more than a Kiara. But in that, we've got a plumbable machine. We've got the beautiful feet. We've got the two manometers. We've got the hot water function as well. So it is a great upgrade from a Kiara. And don't forget at Departure, we can do a full customization. All you have to do is let us know what color you're into and you know how far you want to go. We can get timber handles. Obviously, we can paint the outside tray. We can paint the sides, the top, the front. We do it all here at the Pachi. So um, anything is available. No dream is too big. So all we've got here is um, a nice little uh, housing there to uh, empty the boiler, if you like. So you just undo that nut. If you ever travel with this machine, it's good to have an empty boiler. Yeah, so that's a great function to have. And then we have the the plumbable uh, little attachment. It's a half inch connection. You get the hose with the machine, which is very good and that can go straight to your pressure limiting valve and um, you can have this machine plumbed at home. And then this little uh, lever here that you switch that over from tank to, to water mains. And then you just have to do the function on the PID, which F FO, F1, and just make sure you are uh, bypassing the sensor for the tank. Very good machine, as I said before. I love this machine. Um, and at Departure at the moment, we're doing a lot of customization, which makes this machine, you know, come in a lot of different looks uh, to your taste. So what do you get in the box? Well, we get a double. We get a single, we get the brush, we get the hose, and we get a very nice tamper as well from Belletza. I'd love to have this at home. You know, I, um, I love the high feet. That's probably my favorite feature. I know it's a small thing to a lot of people, but they're just really well made, really high stainless steel feet that look really well. So flick levers um, for me are very beneficial. I've been making coffee for a while and the old, um, you know, the turn taps, are, you know, you can, you know, turn on the, the steam or the water slowly at your discretion. But I think, you know, I've always been taught that the steam has to go on 100% straight away. So um, easing it in is, you know, I've always been told not to do that. I've always been told, turn it straight on. With hot water, that might be a little bit different. You can ease hot water in, but I still think flick levers look better. They're easier to use, you know? So you can be steaming milk and it's just a matter of that with your elbow, with the steam. Um, you know, knob, you're, you're twisting, 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 and you know, I'm getting older, my wrist is starting to hurt. So I think flick levers are definitely an added benefit. So uh, at Departure here, we do um, a lot of, we have a service department and a repairs department as well. So with a lot of, uh, of the twist knobs, people over tighten them when they close them, and then that causes an O-ring in there to, to need to be replaced. Flick levers, they're, you know, pretty well easy to maintain. Don't break or wear down as much. For me, this machine is very good because it fills a place in the market that um, that I I get quite a, a need for, quite a request for, for, for customers here at, at our sales office here in Roselands. So what we've got, I'm gonna refer to another brand, ECM. So ECM have got their Mechanica Slim, okay, with their twist knobs and, um, you know, no PID. And then their step up from that is a Technica 5. So Technica 5 is basically this machine. Technica 5 has a rotary pump, but, you know, this can be plumbed as well. And they're the same sort of, noise level but you know you're looking at another five or six hundred dollars for a technica five so there is a, a place for this in the market a step up from a mechanica slim in between that slot 
Thanks guys, I hope you liked that quick uh, review or preview of the Julia from Baletza. Another great product from a great brand. Remember, you can get this online at thepachi.com.au. Check out our website, check out our Insta, check out our YouTube channel, um, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Enjoy your coffee journey with Departure. Thanks, guys.